BT Junior and Mapping. So the starter heads around for the E-Cycle Solutions Great Western Steeplechase. One of the oldest races on the calendar. BT Junior with his big weight up into the outside. Set to go. 14 fences on their journey. 3,600 metres. Starter presses the button and they're underway. And they broke in what seemed a pretty good line. It's one of the Pateman runners that leads them over the first. Power of words. Just in front of historic Roland Garros San Remo's close handy. Onset Blood and Sand were next in front of BT Junior. And towards the back we've got Mapping. And last is under the bridge as they head out towards the back. Having jumped the first two fences, Roland Garros is now starting to push through near the inside and he's going to claim the lead. So Roland Garros out by a length on Power of Words. Two and a half to Historic in third. San Remo to settle down fourth. And then Blood and Sand with Onset. A little bit wider on the track is under the bridge trying to get in front of a couple at least. BT Junior's back second last and mapping last the inside. Over fence number three. And up front, uh, there's some margin spreading out the first three here. Roland Garros has moved out about a five-length leader. From Power of Words second, three or four to Historic in third, and then three or four further back to the rest of the bunch, which is headed by Blood and Sand, who's just in front of San Remo, and Wider is under the bridge. Then came Onset with BT Junior. Last, the inside is Mapping. Roland Garros has already got over the next fence in the meantime. He's about 15 in front and scooting along. From Power of Words in second spot, Historic in third. And then came under the bridge, has moved up fourth after being last in the first 200 metres of the race. San Remo going comfortably in next position, but, geez, a long way off the front now. Then came Onset, Blood and Sand, BT Junior, mapping as the last one. So Roland Garros towards the first of two fences in the front straight on the inner track. Here's the first of them, and he leapt that really nicely and efficiently. He's got to be, again, like an earlier race, he's got to be a 20-length leader here as he measures the next and pops over it well. Second is Power of Words. Third, Historic. Fourth, Under the Bridge. Fifth is San Remo. Behind him is Onset. Then Blood and Sand, BT Junior, and the last one is Mapping as they head away from us once more. So the pair of fences up along the side here, pretty much passing where they started from. And Roland Garros, it might be a hard second lap for him, the way that he's gone in the first lap. He's out by 15 at the moment. Power of Words in second, Historic in third. Trying to wedge up closer under the bridge. San Remo next. Behind him is Onset. BT Junior's got a lot of ground to make up with that 75 and a half kilos. He's back third last in front of Blood and Sand. And last is mapping as they head along the back once more. So with around 1,300 left to go. Roland Garros still at least a dozen in front. Power of Words has only been able to see one horse in the race in second spot. And it's a distant figure as well still of Roland Garros. Third is Historic, fourth under the bridge as they approach the next fence. San Remo back behind him, and they were followed by uh, Nick's the inside to Onset from BT Junior, mapping and blood and sand as they head off the back. And Roland Garros is providing a lot of cheek here. He's still led by 10 as he gets over the next fence. From Power of Words, in third position is Historic. Then under the bridge, followed on set, BT Junior. San Remo struggling. I don't think he can win. Then Blood and Sand and Mapping as they come down to the second last. Roland Garros still about eight in front of Power of Words, Historic. And then under the bridge, followed on set, BT Junior. I don't think the rest could win as they get over the last. 500 left to go. Roland Garros led. Six in front. Power of words second. Historic battling away. BT Junior with the mighty weight is making ground and then under the bridge and onset all the jumping's over and it's Roland Garros in front but here's BT Junior. He is some sort of chance here. 200 to go. Two or three behind the front runner. Then Historic and Power of Words. Roland Garros in front. Can BT Junior get there in time? Roland Garros a length. BT Junior is going to get close. Roland Garros, BT Junior. Roland Garros will hold him off. Roland Garros has won it, about a half to three quarters to BT Junior, who made a great race of it in the end. Power of Words runs third, narrowly in front of Historic, and then Mapping followed Onset, Blood and Sand, behind them to Under the Bridge, 
And last in was San Remo. So gallant effort by the runner-up with the weight, but all honours with the winner. He made all the running out in front. Roland Garros and Will McCarthy, not afraid to pinch a bit of distance between he and the rest of the pack right from the very start of the race. He's made all the running roll in Garros. And even though BT Junior's made up probably 32 of the 33 lengths that he needed to make up, he just hasn't quite been able to get there in the end. Power of Words runs third and Historic in fourth place. So 6, 1, 10 and 2 is the result. 6, 1, 10 and 2. Roland Garros, the winner number six is an eight-year-old by Helmet. Winner trained by Kira Mar and Dave Eustace and was ridden by Will McCarthy. Second to BT Junior, number one, an 11-year-old by Nom de Jour, Rachel Cunningham, Daryl Horner Junior. Third to 10 Power of Words is by Dylan Thomas, Steve Pateman, Ronan Short. Fourth in Historic and fifth in was Mapping. The margins on the line were a length by seven. Four minutes 17 was the time.